it's number one it's not in your scope of practice number two it's not the right thing to do everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Lori if you are new here I am a family nurse practitioner and today's video is going to be a reaction video there is a new case in the news about a nurse in Lexington Kentucky that has been charged she was charged with intentional medical maltreatment after her 97 year old patient expired because of a couple of actions that she did so I'm gonna have you guys watch this quick news report and then we're going to talk all about it. Hunter appeared in court this morning for her formal arraignment. The former nurse is charged with murder, but her defense attorney decided to waive the formal reading of the charges against her. A suspension order issued by the Kentucky Board of Nursing detailed the day that Hunter allegedly gave 97 year old James Morris lorazepam, a muscle relaxer without an order from a doctor. The order said that Hunter's request for medicine was denied twice. She grabbed the medicine and gave it to him anyway. When another nurse asked her what she had given her patient, Hunter reportedly told her, quote, something special. Hunter was fired from Baptist Health that day. Morris's oxygen level dropped, and Hunter turned down his oxygen monitor so the alarm couldn't be heard. Doctors were able to stabilize him, but Morris developed pneumonia and died five days later. A Fayette County grand jury indicted Hunter on murder charges and set her bond at $100,000. There's a lot to unpack here. And one of the big things I want to say is um, do not under no circumstance as a nurse to administer a medication to a patient without a doctor's order. Under no circumstance should you administer a medication on a patient if the, the physician the mid-level provider which is the nurse practitioner the midwife the pas did not authorize you to do this is a problem and a lot of nurses do this we're going to be honest so we're going to call a spade a spade a lot of nurses do this they have just never gotten caught and nothing has happened to their patient however do not do this. I am going to tell you guys that as a nurse practitioner, I have had nurses paged me before and asked me for certain medication for a patient. And I have said no. And when I go back and I look on the medications that I have to approve, I have seen nurses put said medication under my name and then think that I am going to approve that I said yes. I never said yes to this medication. So guess what I do? I reject it out of my inbox. So I know that nurses do this. I have worked as a nurse and I've seen nurses do this. A lot of times nurses, especially if a patient is deemed anxious and the patient is just all over the place, and probably this was what was going on with this gentleman, because this nurse was requesting Ativan for this patient. So the patient probably was anxious. The patient probably was just doing too much in her eyes. And this nurse contacted the physician. The physician said no. She also contacted the nurse practitioner who also told her no, per the news report, because I tried to look at a lot more news report on this case because I was thinking there is no way in H-E-L-L -L that she went ahead and did this. Allegedly, she did. Don't do it. Uh, let's talk about lorazepam. This patient was 97 years old. First of all, benzodiazepine, these are just not recommended in elderly patient. I mean, I've had 90 something year old patient who's been on the ventilator who I had to administer Ativan to and it is safe because they're on the ventilator because one of the things that Ativan does is depress the respiratory system and this patient was 97 years old. So more than likely it depressed his respiratory system. He was not on any oxygen probably and you laid him down and per one of the other news report fed him so the patient respiratory system was depressed. So the patient probably threw up and aspirated. So there you go, aspiration, pneumonia, and the patient is dead. Guys, this is ridiculous. Oftentimes, us as nurses feel as if we are just not being heard. 
when it comes on to, oh, we're calling the physician, we're calling the provider, and they're ignoring us, and they're saying no, and this is just gonna make my 12-hour shift a living, H-E-L-L, and this patient is just doing too much. In truth and in fact, it is with the safety of patients why a lot of times physicians and the mid-level providers say no to certain medication. First of all, you have no, this is not in your scope of practice to give a patient a medication without a physician order. It's not in your scope. So for you to go ahead and pull that out of van and administer to this patient, you are wrong. <laughs> You are wrong as a $2 bill, is what these people would say. Allegedly. I guess we have to say allegedly because more stuff is probably going to come out in the court record. But as it shows right now, these are the facts of the case and what they are saying took place. Apparently, the Ativan was ordered for another patient. I've seen nurses do this a lot. It's ordered for another patient and she's like, screw it. This is just doing too much. And this patient needs to be medically restrained because when you give Ativan, you are medically restraining a patient. Guys, don't do it. Ask for a sitter for the patient. I know how this is in a hospital setting, in a nursing home setting, sometimes they're short staff, but you cannot, you cannot administer medication without a physician's order. It's number one, it's not in your scope of practice. Number two, it's not the right thing to do. I don't even know how much of this Ativan she gave. Let's assume she gave the patient the whole two milligram of Ativan. That's a lot of Ativan for this 97 year old patient. Even if she gave this man one milligram of Ativan, that is a lot of Ativan for this 97 year old patient. And there's a reason, there's a science behind why the providers and the doctors say no to certain things sometimes. There's a lot of times when I was rounded in the hospital and nurses would call me for, for certain things or even when I was in the nursing home and I would say flat out, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not comfortable with that because of X, Y, and Z. And then they argue with me back and forth and I said, no, I'm not gonna do it. And they in turn call my boss and ask him. Sometimes he'll say absolutely not. Sometimes he'll say yes. But guess what? I am not going to put myself and my license in jeopardy because if I'm not comfortable with something, I'm just not going to do it. And that is just pure facts. I don't know if this patient, if this nurse had ordered it or not. She probably did not. And I don't know even know how everything came together for them to know that she gave the patient this medication because I'm kind of looking through news reports and I don't really see anything like that. If you guys have heard about the case, let me know in the comments below if um, she in fact did put, put an order in. She probably didn't because they already had told her no twi twice. She called the doctor and she called the NP and both of them said absolutely not. So for you to just go ahead and say, screw it, I'm gonna do it anyway, it's just ridiculous and it's just wrong. At the end of the day, we are here for more than just securing the bag. She was also a travel nurse. Not saying nothing bad about travel nurses at all, but let's be honest, a lot of these travel nurses are only there because they're securing the bag and they're working multiple, multiple, multiple shifts and some of them are doing multiple, multiple overtime. Some of them are tired as all get up, but they don't care because of securing the bag. I have seen this. When I was working as a nurse, I've seen it. Working as a nurse practitioner, I've seen it. But you also have to take in account that you are really there to care for somebody else's loved one in the bed. I say this all the time, and this is something that I truly live by. Would I be comfortable with me taking care of me? You know what I mean? If you are a stand-up nurse or stand-up provider, would you be comfortable with the things that you're doing with yourself, caring for yourself? And if you answer no, you should cut that out. So you guys, do not get caught up with this. New nurses, all nurses, in between nurses, do not do it. Do not get caught up in this. If they tell you no, they're telling you no for a reason. I am so sorry that this happened to this patient. All right, guys, that is my thoughts on that. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are, and I will definitely talk with you guys in another video. Bye.